guys, it's Phil Ebener again with VideoSchoolOnline.com with another lesson in Adobe Premiere Pro. Today I want to talk about the first step in actually making a video. I've gone through kind of the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro. We've talked about uh, subclipping, we've talked about organization, and we've talked about the timeline. But now I want to talk to you more about actually what you're supposed to do what the next steps are for making a great video. And the first one is called pulling selects. So a select is a clip or a part of a video that is good. And it's basically the process of trimming the fat from all of your video that you've shot. And I do the way that I pull selects is I create a new sequence. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to create a new sequence. I'm going to call it selects. And in this timeline, I'm just going to bring down all of the good footage that can potentially go into the movie. This doesn't mean that all of it has to be end up in the final cut. It's just pulling the good stuff. So then I will go through all of my subclips and bring down all of the subclips that I think will work. Or um, if I haven't done subclips, I'll just go through my interview. So if this is like a um, if this is a, a documentary or a non-narrative film, a non basically fiction film, then this is usually you have someone speaking or you have different clips unless it's just a montage. And so I would go down and I would, you know, cr select portions of my interview, sound bites that I like. Obviously, I'm not really going through it and doing it to show you. I don't want to take up too much of your time. But I would go through my whole interview, find the answers that I like and just put them down and know just in linear order, in just chronological order of the interview. You don't have to start organizing it yet. That's the next step. And then I um, also, for my B-roll, I go through my B-roll and I pull selects and I just take all my B-roll and I'll you know, find clips that I like and I'll just bring them down onto my timeline. Now some people there's two ways to do this. There's either the subclipping way for B-roll, and you can put subclip all of your B-roll clips and put them in a folder for later, and rename them, uh, which is a great way. Or if if you have gotten more comfortable with just putting clips on a timeline and working later with them, that's great as well, and that's what I do. So I'll I'll go through all my video. I'll have all my selects. Hold. So now I have a, a timeline of selects. And so I'll, I have my whole interview down here. Obviously not just three clips. And then I have my B-roll later. In the next steps, I'll edit this together. I'll use the B-roll that I have and put it over the interview and go from there. But that is what pulling selects is. And I'm sure you'll hear, hear that uh, if you are in the media or video industry um, and you haven't heard it yet, it's a term that we use for pulling the best clips down to your timeline. So if you're working on a project, which I highly recommend while doing this class or these tutorials, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and pull all the selects for your video and put them down on a timeline called selects. And then from, from the selects sequence will turn that into a rough cut sequence which we'll learn about in the next tutorial. All right, thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot. And if you have any questions, please contact me at videoschoolonline@gmail.com. At Until then, have a great day.